How many Nintendo Switch accessories do you own? Do you have one Pro Controller or three? Do you have a Pokeball Plus? How about two of them? How many Joy-Cons could one person use? If you've answered six or more, then have I got good news for you. I was looking at accessories for the Nintendo Switch Online and I came across this thing. And the first thing I thought of was the old school Wii game and accessory stands. And I said, should I order it? And a thousand people are like, yep. And guess what? Here it is. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. That's what she said. So in the pursuit for being able to store all of your Nintendo Switch accessories, like I am trying to, I have them spread out on various shelves. I have Joy-Cons over there. I don't even know where my Pokeball Plus is. This seems like a really interesting way to store everything. It's not big at all. I mean, it's kind of designed to like sit next to your Nintendo Switch. I mean, your Nintendo Switch is supposed to be a part of it and sit next to your TV and just contain everything with five games in there, which the five games in here are Sushi Striker, Naruto twice and Breath of the Wild twice. Perfect, because I own two copies of Breath of the Wild. That wasn't a lie. And I figured, hey, let's, let's see what this is all about. Now, some people like to do classy unboxings. It's now unboxed. There's also no instructions. Why is my sit-stand desk being difficult? It goes up like one inch and then it just stops. It's gonna take a while. Whatever, that's fine. We'll run with it. Perfect, so ignore the fact that this is awkwardly high on my body. How the, okay. So that flaps out. These hold the games, so that has to sit on top of you. That's probably why there were no instructions, because I'm done already. When I saw this online and it said that it held two Pokeballs, I'm like, I don't need this. But it turns out that that part is optional and it just kind of like chills right there. Oh boy, look at this Hydra cable. Power to three right angle USB-Cs. One of the parts that I, oh, oh, hang on. We get a peel. Now, one of the parts that I actually really like about this is this looks like it's gonna be able to charge two Pro Controllers and four Joy-Cons. But the two Joy-Con slots look like they can also hold the NES or Famicom Joy-Cons. Nope, only the Famicom ones. Thanks, Asia. So let's start loading this bad boy up with Joy-Cons. They're, they're a little snug in there. Little snug. I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. Two Pro Controllers. Great. Awesome. The Pokeball Pluses don't charge here, so I'm just gonna... We have a tray at the bottom that slides out for a Nintendo Switch dock. Go ahead and slide it in there. There is nothing to secure that into place. Okay, that makes me concerned. I do have access to the side holes, so I can run the HDMI and power, so that doesn't look like a problem. Now this says it can hold eight Nintendo Switch games, and what I'm thinking is, this is how you're gonna be looking at your, whatever this is called, your, your thing, right? Because the power cables are back here on the dock. And your TV is gonna be right here, so pretend TV is here. Boop. So, when you have your games, are you gonna shove them in? Nope. Nope, that's not how that works. You have to put them into this side. Now, your TV needs to be here. Nintendo Switch, much lower, that you can easily grab. Then you have this. And then facing out to the world is your Nintendo Switch games. So let's put in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, Link's Awakening. Toe Jam and Earl, Sonic Team Racing, Pokémon Tournament, Nintendo Labo Joy-Con, 1-2 Switch. Great! They actually look pretty nice when they're positioned in here. And there's even like a big space down here for, I don't know, Wolf Link. On the front, you can put a Joy-Con grip. For, you know, your Joy-Con number 7 and 8. And on the back over here, you can put your Pro Controller and it sits on there, almost snugly. Now let's power it on. This isn't a long cable, because I don't want to run power for this. I'm gonna try it with my Rav Power Power Brick. Shout out to Rav Power, they're a sponsor here on the channel. Let's do 2.4 amps out into this, which 
may charge it, and if so, very slowly. Right here is a USB-C in, and we have indicator lights. The indicator lights show us if things are charged or charging. And then for the things that are not on there, we could plug that Pro Controller in, and if this was a charge grip, we could plug that in there. Or, what's that? You have four Pro Controllers? Well, good news! Fourth Pro Controller. Plug it in there. Now, according to these very trustworthy LEDs behind this, behind these cables, we can see five red lights that indicate us that five things are charging. Are they actually charging? If they're charging, I should be able to connect them to the Nintendo Switch, and the Switch will tell me the current battery level. Currently, what I'm using to charge a lot of USB-C devices is this Rav Power Multi Outlet Boy. As you can see, all four of my Pro Controllers are currently being charged on this bad boy right here. Oh, I do not like how much pressure that requires. For now, I'm putting the Joy-Cons in here to test their charging. I could put them in, and they do charge. They just don't feel very good going in there. But once again, our Switch pairing screen can show us that all four of them are charging. Keep in mind that on your dock, you still have two USBs right there that are accessible going outward for, I don't know, your Wii U controllers or whatever. And then you still have one more in the back. Well, when I first saw this thing, I thought it was a giant joke because it looks like a portable space heater. It's pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't think I would keep my games in here because I have a nice shelf for all of them to be on, but I'm not mad at this. Other than the eight mentioned, you can fit three more in the bottom here, maybe more if you were getting crafty, but three easily accessible. How much is this, 30, 35? 34.99, and it charges four Joy-Cons, four Pro Controllers, or more Joy-Cons at the cost of Pro Controllers. It holds your grip. It gives you LED icons to show you when things are charged or not charged. And I thought of this thing as a joke, but it's not. If you want to pick this up on Amazon, there's going to be an affiliate link down below. If you choose to purchase it, I get a very small kickback from them, but it's always appreciated. And uh, even more interesting than that, I would like to see this next to someone's TV. Because I don't have like a traditional setup in a living room and stuff, but if you do have a living room setup and you do purchase this from watching this video, do me a favor and tweet me just so I can see it on Twitter at Austin John Plays, and that'd be great. Till next time, Austin John out. Oh, but you go down just fine. The heck.